This episode of Big Cat Rescue is brought to you by Audible. Go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash Big Cat TV to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. We've seen this same situation time and time again. Somebody decides to start their own so-called sanctuary, rescuing but more than likely purchasing exotic animals to keep on their property because it seems like glamorous work, often letting the animals breed which only contributes to this growing problem. It's easy to get a license, it's just a one-page form, name, address, phone number and a $40 fee and you can get around any ban in most states. This is Zeus. Zeus has been with us. For These people don't really know what they're doing. They put together cages that are unsafe for the animals and the general public, feed the animals whatever they can get their hands on, including roadkill, and very rarely have the money to spend on vet gear. Then they start to get calls from people who breed big cats year round, ripping the cubs from their mothers to exploit as photo props at fairs and roadside zoos. The cats are now too big to handle, expensive to keep, and they want to dispose of them however they can whether they sell them as pets, kill them for their body parts, or offload them to another facility. And this is what we saw at JNK's Call of the Wild Sanctuary, a facility that had collapsed under the collective weight and debt, and after many years of complaints and warnings with no improvements, the USDA finally revoked their license. We arrived to starving animals living in terrible conditions. The cages were rotted to the point of falling apart, and rusty screws held together crumbling sheets of plywood for the dens and doors. Thankfully, the New York State Attorney's Office decided to send a message to all of the backyard breeders, dealers and pseudo-sanctuaries that they would no longer turn a blind eye to the danger that these facilities pose to the public, and launched the biggest seizure of wild animals in New York's history. I4 arranged new homes for all of the animals, and with the help of the sheriff,